What's up, Anumanjians? And welcome back. So, I saw Shazam. Uh, and I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, and I'm going to talk about the things that I liked. And there were a few things that I didn't. Uh, some things that didn't work for me. But overall, this was a movie that was... Uh, it, it, it was surprising how good it was. Um, especially cons considering the track record that DC has. And, and, and we'll get in, into that and what this may, may mean for the, for, for the future of the DC universe. Uh, but, but I want to start this off by saying that clearly uh, people are starting to get their faith back in DC and its franchise uh, because right now it looks like Shazam, uh, and these aren't the final numbers, but it seems like the, the, the movie has amassed 53 to $57 million dollars just this weekend, bringing its worldwide total to about 158 million. I believe that the uh, budget was about 80 to 100. So that's not bad. That's not too shabby for a pretty much unknown property like this. Uh, it proves that uh, some of that really positive publicity and uh, those really funny commercials and trailers, that really paid off. Um, so I think that it's really interesting that a film like this could do so well. Maybe it's because Aquaman did so well a few months ago and people are really interested to see what else DC has up its its sleeve. Uh, anyway, uh, Shazam. This is starring Zachary Levi and Asher Angel as the uh, t titular character. Uh, this is a film that focuses really, really heavily on family and uh, how having a family is really important and just having people who have your back and who are always going to be there for you and not trying to do things on your own. That's, that's a really huge message here. And I like how the film kind of uh, plays on that because they, they do it in a way that makes you feel for the characters. The, the film starts out with uh, Billy Batson. Uh, he's a child who's been to multiple foster homes. Uh, and he's just looking for his mom. He wants to, to reconnect with her. Uh, they separated at some point when, when he was younger. I suppose he got lost. And he's just spent like his first part of his childhood just looking for her, constantly being, constantly running away from foster homes uh, in search of his mother. Uh, something happens that kind of, you know, forces him to end up with uh, this other foster family. It's like, hey, it's either this foster family or you got to go. Okay, so he's kind of forced in this, in, in this situation. Uh, it's here where he meets his, uh, his foster brother slash friend, uh, Freddie, and then the film just kind of goes from there. Now, I will say that the film does take a while to, to get going because not only are you setting up Billy and his story, but you're also setting the stage for the villain, uh, which, is, which takes up a nice chunk of the film. Uh, and on top of doing that, you're also introducing all these people that he's, you know, that he's starting to live with. And it's, it's just a lot. It's a lot to have to pile in, into a film, especially in the first half of it. So the film doesn't really pick up until he meets Shazam for the first time, gets his powers, and Zachary Levi starts playing the the character. Um, even though the film starts off slow, it's still pretty funny. Uh, his foster family especially, they are very interesting characters. They're, they, they, they definitely create a very lighthearted film. Uh, Jack Grazer as Freddy is a scene stealer. He's really funny, really relatable, and he just kind of, you know, he, he kind of brings up the film a lot. You know, he's, he, he's the perfect a contrast to Billy Batson's, you know, dark and brooding type of personality. Uh, so, so even though it's slow, it's still entertaining, but it does ramp up considerably when he becomes Shazam. And now let's talk about Zachary Levi because he is such a, he, he's so good in this role. He's so good. He's so funny. He's so refreshing. Uh, he's definitely taking some cues from Tom Hanks' performance in Big because he technically has to play a much younger version of himself. You know, he has to act the way that Asher Angel acts as, as Billy, as this adult male. And I feel like the film does a really good job here because it kind of answers the question, what exactly would someone 
a kid in this generation do if one day they just got superpowers? And uh, even though we have films like Spider Man, where like you know you're gonna you're gonna do the right thing and all that. Uh, not necessarily here, you know, you're you're going to be uploading videos to YouTube, you're going to be dancing, trying to find out what you can and can't do, you know, uh, uh, see what you can get away with because you're an adult. I, I feel like the film really does a good job here, and Zachary Levi for sure sells that he's uh, a, a, a boy in a grown man's body. Uh, he, he, he just does it so well, and I think I'm really excited to to see him show up as his character again and just to, to see him get like more comfortable in in the role because he's he's just he he's great. Now while Zachary Levi is fantastic, Mark Strong even though he does really well with what he's given here, I I, I wouldn't say that his uh his role in the film is is that important? I mean, in a sense it is, but I feel like he was just kind of by the numbers and he was just basically there for the progression of the plot, which is completely fine, but he was largely forgettable. Like I said, he was very serviceable in his role, and I like what he did with the character, and you know, I do like Mark Strong. I feel like he's very underrated as an actor. I, I do feel like, uh, you know, any villain could have been thrown in, into this film, done the same thing, and it would have come out the same exact way. Um, I also want to say that uh, his villain was actually kind of dark. Some of the things that he did in this film was a lot darker than I expected. Uh, so, uh, you know, even though the film seems to be leaning towards smaller children, I'm not sure if some of the stuff, especially with his character, would be appropriate. Um, and that's for parents to, to decide, of course. But just to give you that warning, if you're thinking about taking your small kid to, to, to go see this, there are some really dark moments in, in this film, especially with the villain, that I think might be a little bit too scary for smaller children. So just keep that in mind when you're going to check this out. Uh, and also the humor, too. There's some really adult-oriented humor in, in this movie, uh, which is really weird because I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to kind of be a little bit more safe. But, I mean, some of the stuff here... <laughs> <laughs> Even though juvenile, it is still like some of it is still really adult. So uh, I feel like that should be said just in case anybody's actually really trying to go see this. I will say that even though Mark Strong's villain uh, definitely seems like he was kind of just there, uh, the way that they use his character to kind of come full circle with the whole family message is really well done, is really well executed. Um, and also Billy's relationship with his foster family, how that kind of evolves over time. I do feel like that was handled very, very well here. Um, and so in the end, with that payoff, it definitely works a lot better uh, be, because of some of the backstory given to Mark Strong's character and Billy's character. It just kind of comes full, full circle, and it definitely works. It may not work for everyone, but it worked for me. So overall, the film was actually really fun. It was funny. Um, Definitely has a really, really good message. And even though the villain was kind of eh, and there are some really dark moments for, for smaller children, I feel like this is a movie that you should definitely check out. I mean, it's it's definitely DC finding its stride and trying something new and trying to basically get the faith of those people that they lost over the past couple of years back. I mean, and they've been on a roll. We have Aquaman, Shazam, Wonder Woman a few years back before and we have this new joker film which looks excellent uh there there's just so much to look forward to here i'm really excited for the future of dc and uh i this may not be a popular opinion but i feel like after endgame marvel's probably going to have to give up that crown because even though there are people who are probably going to stick with it I don't see Marvel staying on top very, you know, much longer after in in the game because if some of these stars are actually really done with the franchise like they're saying, I feel like once they leave a large, you know, a large number of that fan base is going to leave with them, you know, cuz I don't think that there are enough people left after after that central uh uh after those central characters leave. I don't think that there are enough characters left that people have a good relationship with to kind of keep those box office numbers top, top tier and keep a genuine interest in, in those films. So DC might actually be the next king here. 
So I'm really excited to see how they handle that and where they and where they go next. Um, but overall, this was a good film. Definitely check it out. There is a surprise ending at the end, which was really shocking to me. Um, so if you don't know what, what that is, stay away from the internet so you don't spoil yourself. It's not a huge deal, but I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, it may not be what you may expect, but it is, it is pretty cool, nonetheless. Um, but yeah, I liked it. Go see it. Uh, if you have small, small, small children, uh, just do a little research first before you go out, out there. See if it's something that you feel comfortable with your, you know, with your kids seeing. Because there's definitely some stuff in the film that they did not show in, in the trailer. And that's it. Uh, did you see the movie? What did you think of it? And uh, if you didn't like it, tell me what your, what your issues were with it. Did you think that maybe the humor just didn't hit right? Uh, was there not enough action for you? Was the story too uh, childlike? Uh, and if you did like it, what did you like? Did you like Zachary Levi's per performance as a young child? And did you like this, the CG and did the suit grow on you? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you have not done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from your boy Derek right here at Anamanji. Don't forget to click that like button and do not forget to click that bell notification so that you will be notified when I post again. That's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay dope.